enough with adverbs. The next thing we are going to talk about are modal verbs. Yes, you know the basics, but the basics, remember. In every level, I will give you some extra information to help you upgrade your knowledge, to help you get better and more confident in the choice of the correct modal verb, in the choice of the correct grammar structure in general. So, the modal verb we are going to focus on now is be able to. And let's see what's the difference between be able to and can. In the present, Anne can play the piano. Anne is able to play the piano. So, in the present, the only difference between can and be able to is that be able to is more formal. Otherwise, as meaning, they have the same idea, they have the same meaning, physical ability or mental ability. There are situations, however, in which you can use only be able to and you cannot use can. Here they are. For example, it's cool to be able to dance like that. It's nice to be able to draw like you. It's cool too. It's nice too. You know that there are patterns in English which need to plus infinitive. Well, in these cases, you need be able to. You can't say it's cool to can. No, it's cool to be able to. Another situation. He may be able to help you. Just ask him. Or she might be able to come tonight. After a modal verb, you cannot use another modal verb. You can't say he may be able to can. No, you need be able to. He may be able to, he might be able to. One more. I haven't been able to come. I've just been able to contact my boss. That's right. In perfect tenses, again, you need to use be able to. As meaning, just to repeat it, it has the same meaning as can, physical or mental ability. So, let's see what the situation is like in the past. Could play the guitar when she was 20. When he was 20, sorry. Tom was able to play the guitar when he was 20. So, when you speak about the past, one more example. She could swim when she was a child. She was able to swim across the river that day. There are situations in which you can use them as synonyms, as in the previous example. Tom could play when he was 20. Tom was able to play when he was 20. When you want to express an ability in the past, you can use could or be able to. And there are situations in which there is difference. She could swim when she was a child. You speak about general ability. She was able to swim across the river that day. Well, in this situation, when you want to express only momentous ability, you need to use be able to. Okay? General ability can, could, or be able to. Momentous ability be able to only. In the past, was or were. The forms of be able to. I am able to, you are, I was, you were, be able to. So, examples. I was able to swim, he was able to come, they were able to do their homework, and so on. 
be careful in the differences. In general, they are not a lot, but from time to time, there are situations in which you need only be able to. In all of the other cases, you can choose between can and be able to. One example, pause the video, check the attached PDF, and we are checking it. Okay. I haven't been able to come on time. Perfect tense. You can't use can or could be able to. My sister can cook really delicious. Can cook, general ability in the present, informal. If you want to make it more formal, my sister is able to cook. When she was three, she could speak three languages, general ability in the past. Again, you can say she was able to speak three languages, general ability in the past. Her mother is French. She must be able to speak French. Must be able to. Model verb plus be able to. You can't use another model verb here. It was rainy, but they were able to finish the game. Well, only one option in this case. Be able to when you express momentous ability. They were able to. I hope to be able to speak German soon. I really do. I hope to be able to. After to infinity, you need only be able to. No other option here. I can do it. Trust me. General ability, present, informal context. If you want to make it more formal, I'm able to do it. Trust me. I trust you and you're really able to master English grammar. Let's keep on working on model verbs in the next video.